Hello, Edward from Enfield Physics Tutor here again. Today we're going to talk about simple harmonic motion and try and get a grip on just what is going on with displacement and acceleration. This animation shows a trolley suspended between two identical springs oscillating back and forth undergoing simple harmonic motion. As always with physics, we're going to ignore anything we can't deal with such as air resistance and friction in the wheels. We are interested to see its properties such as displacement at the extremes and midpoints of its motion and to this end we put a marker in the middle of the trolley. This marker will therefore show us the two maximum displacements and the midpoint. Displacement is referenced from the midpoint, therefore we can say this is displacement zero. The positive maximum is to the right and the negative maximum, the largest maximum in the negative direction, is on the left. Let's add those values, those exciting values I should say, that we just developed for displacement onto a chart. Then we can look to add in similar values for force, acceleration and lastly the mysterious velocity. We start by adding in an arrow to the right to show us which way is positive. Now we can write in our values for displacement, x. Clearly this is zero in the middle. To the right it said its largest positive value so we write plus max. To the left it's also maximum but of course it's negative. Now we're going to look at the resultant force acting on the trolley, which of course is the combination from each of the springs. In the right hand position here, we can see that it's experiencing a large force in the direction of the left. In other words, we could write it as negative maximum. By the same argument, when it's on the far left hand side, both springs are pushing it towards the right. So it says it's maximum, but it's positive. In the middle, both forces are equal, but they are opposite, so there's no overall force. Now let's think about acceleration. And the thing to remember with acceleration, of course, is that it is directly proportional to the force. Therefore, if there is no force, there must be no acceleration. When the force is at a maximum, so must the acceleration be, but also in the same direction. Therefore, it's negative maximum on the right, and positive maximum over on the left. Try to visualize how the trolley was moving as we look at velocity. There is a point at the far extremes out at its maximum displacement when its velocity is zero. So those are obviously on the far right and the far left. But what about in the middle? Well, it might be obvious that the value is at its maximum. Imagine the pendulum swing. But what's its sign? Well, of course, it could be either because one time it's moving left to right and a little bit later it's moving right to left. This table shows us standard values for X, F, A and V for a simple harmonic oscillator. But I'm going to draw your attention particularly to the acceleration and the displacement. Bearing in mind that what we're trying to do is define simple harmonic motion, which basically means come up with a mass expression to describe its velocity, acceleration and so forth at any point along its journey. Let's compare the values, starting off with the ones in the centre point. You can see that both X and A are zero at this midpoint. Moving across to the right hand side, here we can see that X is at its positive maximum. Acceleration is maximum too, but negative. So you could say they are equal and opposite. Moving across to the left hand side, we can see here that the x is at its negative maximum and acceleration is also maximum but in the positive direction. So again, just like on the right hand side, same magnitude, opposite sign. This simple relationship here is the definition of simple harmonic motion and I think you'll see that it fits the previous table perfectly. When the displacement is zero, according to this formula, so is the acceleration. When the displacement is positive maximum, the acceleration will also be maximum, but negative. When the displacement is negative maximum, the acceleration will be positive, but maximum. In other words, A is proportional to minus X. Put into words, we could say 
simple harmonic motion is when the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement in the opposite direction of the displacement. We'll put that another way. We can say that the acceleration is always towards the center point. Lastly, if you have the maths, i.e. a doing A-level maths, you can relatively easily prove that the constant is going to be the angular frequency squared or omega squared. What we've done in this video then is fundamentally do some analysis of various properties for simple harmonic motion by carefully considering those properties at different positions. So that about wraps it up. I hope you found that useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends about the wonderful videos that we're making here at Enfield Physics Tutor. Bye.